Hello all. So today I'm talking about three ways you can repair a plastic radiator at home. If you ever had a plastic radiator and you get a crack on it and you wonder if you could repair it, well, you can. There's like three ways you could go about doing this and that way you don't have to go out and buy a new one. And the main method is going to be to use a soldering iron and to melt it back together, to use epoxy and chemically make it go back together. Or three is to use a combination of the first two methods, which is to use a soldering iron to melt it and then use epoxy to really seal it up. And they have these uh, low cost epoxy kits on Amazon and eBay. I'll put links down below for everything I'm looking at here. But they basically just chemically melt the plastic back together on the radiator. And they're fairly simple to use. You basically just spread it around the crack. So like, so like it'll have a crack like this, then you spread it around and, and you could move it about and then it'll chemically seal it. And the next way is going to be to use a, a soldering iron. Now you, you usually need a pretty good soldering iron to do this. You, you could try to use a low wattage one, but they don't usually work very well. You need one, you know, that has like at least 200 watt. Quite often the lower wattage soldering irons, they, they don't work so well. You can still try it if that's all you have, but usually you're going to need a pretty good soldering iron that could put out some heat. But basically if you do use a soldering iron, it's pretty straightforward. You just work around where the crack is and melt it back together as best you can. And that brings us to the third method, which is basically a combination of both methods, which is quite often the best method, which is first use a soldering iron and go over the crack so that it, you can seal up and it, it doesn't move about or anything like that. Especially if you have a big crack, using a soldering iron is the best bet to go over it and seal up the big holes or big cracks that might be there. And then come through and put on the epoxy to seal up any tiny cracks that might be still left behind it. But any of these methods will work. And with the main goal is simply to seal it up. That way you don't have to replace the whole radiator. Sometimes you will just have to replace the whole radiator if it's really bad. But you can, in many cases, get them to seal back up and be working again. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of what you could do if you had a plastic radiator and you're wondering if you could somehow melt the cracks back together. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.